Hi, this is Krishna Sadasabam, and you're watching this on Vector Tuts Plus. This is a tutorial exclusively for Vector Tuts Plus, and I wanted to go ahead and share a couple of techniques with you. The first of which is using Sketchbook Pro um, and developing a really nice uh, custom digital inking brush within Sketchbook Pro. The second part of the tip is actually taking that digital line art from Sketchbook Pro and uh, making it into a vector file that you can use with Adobe Illustrator. Let's we'll start off by going ahead and launching Sketchbook Pro. Um, the settings that I typically use when I work with my uh, illustrations and comics, I use 3000 pixels wide by 3000 pixels tall and I use a resolution of 600 pixels per inch. Uh, if we look at the existing pencil tool, Pencil tool is um, fairly nice for sketching, that type of thing. I'm going to take that same pencil tool and I'm going to customize it and make it into a brush tool for digital inking. To do that, I'm going to go up to the radial menu in the brush palette and I'm going to choose new brush. And I'm going to base this new brush on the existing pencil brush. So I'm going to choose current brush, click create. And you'll see that that brush actually appears, let me collapse these menus here, actually appears in the set one um, area of the brush palette. And it's a do-it-yourself brush. If I click on that do-it-yourself brush, if I double click on it actually, I can make some setting changes to it. The first change I'm going to make is I'm going to affect the pen pressure uh, when the pressure is heavy. I'm going to change that to 28. I'm going to change the size with light pen pressure to 0.1. This gives me this nice line variation that I want with my brush. Stamp spacing, I'm going to dial that down to 0.1. And you can see that the brush starts to retain some crispness. And at the very bottom, uh, there's something called brush edges, and I'm going to choose solid edges. So the net result is I've got a very crisp brush. Let's go ahead and hit save. So this is the quality of the brush. It's a very, very uh, fluid tool. I mean, a lot of people um, ink in Photoshop. And I think Sketchbook Pro gives a lot of really nice reasons to choose it because it's a very responsive program. So uh, the other thing, too, is Sketchbook Pro will also save out your work as a PSD file. So you can bring it into Photoshop if you wish later on. So that's the first part of the tip, customizing your brush to make it into a digital inking brush. The second part of the tip uh, is taking line art that's already been rasterized and converting it into a vector-based format. So let me quit out of Sketchbook Pro. And I'm going to open up an image that was created in Sketchbook Pro that has been saved out as a PSD. And this is just a sample image here featuring two of my characters as some popular pop culture characters, I guess. And if I zoom in, I'm roughly at 500%, you can see the Jaggies showing up. So I want to take this bit of line work and I want to vectorize it. So I'm going to launch Cocopo Trace. which is a Mac front end for an open source utility called Potrace, which is available in Linux and Windows flavors as well. Um, Cocoa Potrace puts a nice GUI front end for Potrace, which I find to be very easy to set up and use. I'm going to take the PSD file that I have. I'm going to drag it onto the left hand side where it says drop image here. and within seconds of me placing the bitmap image in there's a vectorized version that shows up on the right hand side my settings that I've decided to go with are the default settings they tend to work pretty well for line art uh, I haven't found any reason to go back in and tweak it but um, you know your mileage may vary with this I'm gonna hit save it's gonna give me an EPS file And uh, with that EPS file, I can open it up in Illustrator. If I zoom in, you can see that the line quality is very crisp. 
it is a vectorized file. I can take it, I can scale it up, and it still looks very, very crisp. And I've used this um, quite a bit when I'm also doing flash animation too. So there you go. That's an easy way to go ahead and vectorize your artwork using Cocopo Trace. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please leave me some feedback and comments. Um, and uh, let me know what you'd like to learn more about in Sketchbook Pro, and I can prepare another two. Thanks for watching. Take care.